Good evening from Maryland Stadium, Capital One Field. Maryland takes it 42-39. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, Dr. Mark Sobel. Guys, what'd you see out there tonight? Mark, we'll, let, we'll let Mark intro it. Tell us what you think of Mr. Bordenschlager today. Unbelievable, unbelievable, just poised, delivered big. And uh, I thought the defense flew to the ball. It was a very aggressive play. Um, really loved it. Loved no, it. You Durkin, know, there's no. DJ Durkin is fantastic. I love him. What he's done with Bordenschlager is absolutely incredible, Wayne. Yep. He has turned his kid almost into a pretty good quarterback. He got hot. I know you said it wasn't, but for me, I'm saying this guy actually got hot right? when he hit Tavon Jacobs right there you threw a the laser. Best. When he hit DJ Moore and at the other end, he threw a rocket to him. Did you see my, you probably didn't see my tweet, but I tweeted, Coach Harbaugh, Ozzy, don't let DJ get away from you. You blew it on Stefan Diggs. You mean DJ Moore. DJ Moore. Right. You blew it on Diggs. This kid has got the best hands I've seen in a long time. Unbelievable. He made some catches. Anytime a ball's near him, he catches it. He is he, route runner. He, he is too. everything okay. about him is great. So that's on the offensive side. On the defensive side of the ball, Darnell Savage blocked a punt right over your shoulder, scooped it and returned it. He had an interception. The defense played well enough today to win. So the difference, Indiana's not Ohio State. Indiana's not an elite. This looked a lot more to me like an old ACC game. They were the Wake Forest type team. Mark, what'd you think? I just, I just was very happy in all three phases. Uh, um, Maryland played aggressive. They continued to play for four quarters. They played it all the way to the end. Uh, very impressive with the coaching staff. Um, uh, just terrific. It's a victory. It's a victory. Chris Lolo had that sizzle back today. Did you yeah, see? Yeah, Lolo was excellent. Ty Johnson had a 45-yard run. Our numbers on offense were not that great. No. But they were good enough Look. to win. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting. Help desk support for your computers and networks. Managed services and 24-hour a day help desk are just a few of the affordable benefits. Get help when you need it by Terps that you know. Call us at 301-251-2900 or visit oneviner.com. At halftime, we're leading on the scoreboard. They had the ball 20 and a half minutes. We had the ball nine and a half minutes. Well, you had a block punt for a field, for a touchdown. You had another blocked extra point, which was huge. Yeah, Chandler Burkett comes through with the block. Right, and you had a you had an 82 yard kickoff return. Oh my man, Javon Leak! Oh, guy. unbelievable. He doesn't play, you he know. Hit, he hit the gas on that return. He, when he's decided to explode, his he's got speed that's just amazing. Meantime, I was in the press box. What an unbelievable game between Penn State and Ohio State. Hey, Ohio and State Ohio does State it. came back to win. Down by 11 with three minutes left. They came back to win. And I got to tell you something. Mr. Franklin choked. He choked like you can't imagine. I'll tell you how. Ohio State cut it to five. They went for two to cut it to three. They didn't get it. They kick off to him, and he played conservative and ran the ball three wow. times. Wow. And that was it. That was it. That they was it. They, they didn't move it. the ball. It's you got to move we, the ball. We, you can't do we gotta that. We got to get into the DJ press conference. This is going to be a short one tonight. Maryland takes it 42-39. Evens the record at four and four. Indiana falls to three and five. Well, we're not worried about hope? Indiana. We need six wins. Well, now, we won that game. Now, Rutgers is a must. Yep. And then in those last three games. Michigan State, Michigan. Michigan State, State went State. to overtime with no Northwestern. I don't know who Northwestern won. wins the game. Northwestern wins TCU, the game. TCU, number four, loses today. Penn State, number two, loses today. Yeah, every, anything day. goes. But you can win. Look, it's remote. You can win against Michigan. Right. Uh, I wanted to see Penn State come in here right. and burst their year. I know. That's All life. right, before we wrap this up, props to Adam McLean who got on the field and made a big play. Melvin Kane who's right over there got on the field again and made some plays. Bryce Brand played a lot. Even Andrew Isaacs as a Russian made some plays today. Proud of the defense. Offensive line looked like an offensive line at the other end of the field. And got Jake Funk, got two touchdowns. Oh, Jake Funk is so first Listen, class. First class all here, the way. Here's the problem from today. Too many mistakes and stupid plays. Some of those penalties for piling on when the game would have been over on third. Yep. Right. 
I mean, you can't do that. You, can't. you just can't but do that. But we live today. We live to play Rutgers at 3.30 next week up at Piscataway. This has been the Viner Consulting, Viner Forgates post-game show. Bruce, Mark, this is Wayne, Bruce. No in the nest tomorrow. The Ravens won all th What a weekend. The Ravens win. All right? Maryland wins. And Penn uh, State it, loses. And Penn State loses. <laughs> oh. It doesn't get any better. You don't even know. From Maryland. I can make your hands clap.